Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're going to talk about what cools your car. So we're going to start out right now with uh, it's being 104 degrees out. I want to show you an egg. We got some eggs from out of the fridge. Now this right here, are uh, these are totally cold to the touch. I'll show you what temperature they are. These are exactly 40 degrees, and our concrete is about 130. So we got our 130 degree concrete, and now what we're gonna see is a chemical reaction. And basically, for every 18 degrees hotter it is, uh, basically substances oxidize at double the rate. It's exponential. So we're gonna leave our egg uh, cook here for a second. We got squamby eggs. We're gonna come over here to a cool little uh, information thing. We're gonna be talking about these two coolants in a second. Genuine Honda factory coolant and we got the Amsoil Low Toxicity. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. This is show number 60. We do a uh, video every week, but oh, we already got some color change, I think. No, it's not changing color yet, but basically we should see the oxidation in a second once it starts to turn color. So we'll be back to that. So we're gonna go over uh, a little information on your engine and what cools it. The, a big part of what cools it, not only is it coolant, but it's motor oil. So the AMS oil actually keeps your engine uh, delivered 40% more cleanliness. So during the summer heat, you have a lot of oxidation. And this article goes over it, which you can actually read this. It's a really, really good article on your motor. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about these coolants and we're also gonna do a little mixing. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with talking about our uh, factory Honda coolant. So this is the extended life, and we actually just did a video with this coolant uh, about two days ago. And that was on our ostentatious, bodacious bro, Vladimir. He had a uh, Honda Civic 2017. Now I wanted to show you what the interval is on this fluid. This is basically good for what it says on here, uh, up to five years, 60,000. So that says it right in this area five years, 60,000 miles. Now it ended up being uh, only three years on Vladimir's car and there is already some oxidation on the rubbers and you'll see that, check out this video up in the corner. Also at the end of this video, I'll put that in the end screen so you can check that out. And I'll also put it in the description. So you click that little reverse down arrow right there in the corner and uh, you'll see that if you're on a laptop or a desktop, if you're on a smartphone, all you do is click show more. So this is the factory style Honda coolant. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a little pouring with it. And I'm gonna show you, it kind of looks like Smurf uh, pee, if you will. If you took a little teeny Smurf and the little guy was uh, taking a leak, this is kind of what it looks like. So we'll give you the whole uh, rundown of what it looks like. So we got our funnel and we got our empty distilled water bottle. And we'll be talking about distilled water in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and just dump in some of this genuine uh, Honda coolant. Now this is rated, uh, very good rating for cold temperature uh, of negative 34 degrees right here. And that's Fahrenheit, which is pretty good. And uh, we're gonna be talking about the M's oil in a sec as well. So we're gonna go ahead and pop our seal right here. Got our nice fresh seal and let's take a look. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, there it goes. It's like a Smurf, like Smurf pee kind of. And it's got a heck of a smell to it. And uh, amazing how it smells, very strong. And there's a lot of uh, warnings on here, right here. Very, very uh, cautious here with this. This is a ethyl, ethyl glycol. Uh, very, very important not to let uh, pets consume this. So very, very important to uh, be aware of that. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a good pour. So this uh, coolant is what comes in a factory Honda. And what it does is this allows it not to boil and it allows your coolant not to freeze in the winter. So you say, well, why do you need that? 
Well, you need that for two reasons. Uh, the first thing, if it boils, you can actually burst your system. Your system will actually explode and you'll lose pressure. Uh, basically, most of these systems now are under 15 PSI of pressure. So this doesn't allow it to boil. Boiling point of 268. Norm normal boiling, not under pressure, is 212. So uh, quite a bit of an improvement. And this is a 50-50 uh, mix, basically. That's what, they're, that's what they're saying here. And then when it doesn't freeze, it doesn't allow it to break your block. So if you were to put uh, ice or water inside your motor block and it were to freeze, it could actually crack the metal block, the aluminum block in the case of a Honda. So we got half of a bottle of uh, our Honda, genuine Honda fluid. We got this for 20 bucks at uh, the Honda store. And now we're on to our Amsoil. Now this is what we put in Vladimir's Honda the other day. Uh, that's that video up here in the corner on his 2017 Honda Civic, and this is a biodegradable, low toxicity coolant. It's got a lot of nice attributes to it because it's a concentrate and you can mix it to your own ratio. So uh, say you live somewhere very cold, you can actually run it about 70%. And at 70%, you're going to be good to about negative 56 degrees below zero. If you live somewhere hot, like in Las Vegas right now, it's 100 and four degrees out, uh, you definitely want to have more distilled water, which that's what that used to be. That bottle was just distilled water. And the reason you use distilled water is so you don't have any calcium or minerals go into your motor, which those can add up, they can thicken, they can cause a lot of damage to plastic, rubbers, and even latch onto the metal. And you can even have frequency issues where you actually, your car doesn't run right, where there's actually a uh, electronic charge that's going through the actual water. So there's definitely some roadblocks to having um, running regular water. So here, this is a concentrate, must add water. And the nice thing is it ends up being less money uh, than 50-50 than that once you end up getting uh, and mixing it. And then you create your own strength. So this meets and exceeds all these heavy duty specification, Caterpillar, a lot of the over the road trucks, Cummins, Freightliners. Those are 18 wheelers, pack car and basically they need the most robust heavy duty coolant as possible. So what this is, this is a super heavy duty coolant, good for five years, 150,000 miles. Uh, this one, is this Honda, is only good for five years, 60,000. So you're gonna have a big upgrade in protection from corrosion and oxidation, which with heat, things oxidize, like the egg we threw over here. Sometimes you can see the oxidation, sometimes not. But let's take a look if it started to turn white at all. No, it's not hot enough, huh? Not quite, but basically it's already thickened and it's already kind of like sticky. So basically what that is, is that's the oxidation. And as things oxidize, they actually have a chemical change like burning butter or anything like that. So your coolant, it's very, very difficult to actually see uh, what the actual, uh, let's see here, we're good, to actually see what's going on. So coolant usually doesn't really change color. So it, once it's thickening and it's breaking down, you don't really notice it unless you see some corrosion on your rubbers. In the case of Vladimir's Honda, we actually had uh, some crusty white stuff building on his cap, and that's after only three years. So the high heat out here really can hurt it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Hond or uh, Amsoil. This is a long life, and this is a uh, organic uh, acid hybrid technology. This is poly. What is it? Propylene glycol uh, antifreeze and coolant. So it's a little bit different, but it doesn't have that harsh smell to it like the Honda coolant. Also, if a dog or animal licks it it doesn't taste sweet like some of these other coolants, these OEM coolants, and it just won't hurt them the same. And also if your car were to leak, we're gonna pop the seal here. If the car were to leak, uh, basically it won't leak all over the place. So uh, if it does leak all over the place and a dog or cat licks it, you're not gonna have the same uh, damage to the animal. So that's, that's the big uh, nice part of this coolant. So we're gonna go ahead and mix them just for fun here. 
over here. Give you guys a little mix. And you can kind of see how it's a really nice gold uh, look to it. And I've used this on my Corvette and it really made a difference in the, uh, uh, the way it drove and it actually warmed up better and made a big difference, which we're gonna get into the Dominator Coolant Boost right now. So we're just gonna mix these guys. Ah, the liquid gold, that nice yellow, beautiful yellow. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Dominator Coolant Boost. This right here is uh, a proprietary dual surfactant technology. And what this does is this actually acts as a, it's like a water wetter, but it does two things. It actually allows the water molecules to get closer to the aluminum. So the closer it gets, you have a better heat transfer. Your uh, cylinders will run cooler. You'll make more horsepower, increased horsepower. And also your engine will warm up faster. So with this, your engine will warm up up to 54% faster. And then you have a mix ratio, depending on how much, uh, how much of this you add, you actually mix it accordingly. And it's about one ounce added to every uh, quart of this or two ounces of this to every quart of distilled water. And I'm gonna answer the question, you can run straight distilled water in your car. The only thing is you'll have limited boiling protection and you'll have limited uh, freezing protection. So it's not recommended to run straight distilled water, which you can do out in a place like Vegas, you could do it. And you could actually run distilled water with only coolant boost. And that would actually get you the best results as in best horsepower. You'd have the best heat transfer. But if you actually live somewhere cold, this will actually give you better heat transfer in the cold. Your car, when it warms up quicker, that'll get you off idle up. And the longer you're on idle up, you're running rich and you have a lot of blow by and you can actually get uh, contamination into your uh, motor oil by running too rich. So this is gonna help with your motor oil contamination. It's gonna allow it to warm up quicker. You're gonna make more power. It's gonna run a whole lot better. And uh, basically you have blow by that goes by the rings and that's piston rings right here. So if you have any gas that goes by these rings, uh, then you're having gas going to your motor oil and your motor oil will actually thin out, break down a lot more. So now we're gonna go into uh, the Dominator, which we just talked about. I have about, oh my God, about 50 videos on coolant changes, somewhere in that range, right up here in the corner. Check out all those coolant change changes we've done on the channel. And I've used all these different products. The last thing I wanted to show was what it looks like. So we got our coolant here. And even if you did mix 50-50, there would be no separation. So you can see there's absolutely no separation. There's no clotting or anything like that. So uh, even if you were to mix this by accident, you won't have any problems with your uh, OEM coolant. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions on the products, feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is 702-472-3614. If uh, it's one, two o'clock in the morning and you can't sleep, you can't even think because you wanted to try the Dominator Coolant Boost to see how good it is, hey, you can call me up. I'll talk to you about these products. So uh, that pretty much sums it up. We will see you back next week, same time, same place, 6.30 every single Thursday night. And uh, that's it. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me or text me. All right, we'll do a little cheers to protection, protection, protection. Oh, and by the way, definitely subscribe, tap the little notification bell. You'll be notified on your phone next week when we come back and do another video. And right here, we got the video to Vladimir's car right here. And right underneath here, this is what YouTube wants you to check out. And then right here in front of me, this is the whole playlist we've done on all the coolant changes on the channel. All right, we'll see ya.